Hey everyone, it's Tammy, and I hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are, whenever you see this video. Um, my mission is your wellness. That's something that I've just recently come up with. Um, that's, I have, I think I mentioned in my last video, if you haven't seen it, I'll say it here, that I was recently um, approved to be chapter president for the first holistic chamber of commerce here in the state of New Mexico. Um, although we do have local meetings once a month, you or anybody that you may know that would be interested is welcome to join our chapter because there will also be um, live events, online events, as well as in-person meetings. And so it's all about business development and um, yeah, it's a really great time. So in doing that, one of the things that I was in courage to do is to really be focused on my mission as a chapter president and and it's great because the more I develop this chamber this chapter the more I'm able to um, kind of reshape my own business I have to admit that I mean I'm finding it a little funny that now there's two videos in a row with wet hair one it actually feels great because it's super hot still and so with the fans blowing and the and the wet hair I have to be also honest with you and say that I'm expecting somebody to show up here fairly soon and so I wanted to get this video done before there was um, any company and uh, so thanks for um, thanks for tolerating me or putting up with all of this if you're new to my channel welcome um, I am a 30-year practicing aromatherapist I like to refer to myself actually as uh, either a aromatologist or an alchemist I have a background in pharmacology that um, is based in um, the study of plant constituents and their relation to drug development and human health. It's it's a really well-rounded um, platform on which I support people through um, wellness consults and personalized um, personalized formulations. Pardon me. I'm also very interested in teaching, sort of writing about this. So there's a lot of things going on. My life is shifting. Um, I've been gone kind of sort of for the last two and a half, three months. And that's predominantly because I had picked up a serving position just to kind of fill in the gaps and valuable lessons um, in the sense that I am able to apply and just devote 100% of myself, mind, body, and energy into helping maintain the integrity of somebody else's business and I'm thinking finally it's just we're coming into the into the late summer early fall season where things are just really time it's we're coming into that change the time of change and with the development of the Chamber of Commerce things just have to shift and so I let it all go and so here I am I'm back and completely devoting my time and efforts into you and anybody else who might be interested in um, taking their notion of being well, you know, the, the desire of like, I really wish I could feel well to, hey, I do feel well, kind of bridging that gap between dreaming of good wellness or good health and actually feeling well. So as I said, my mission is your wellness. And, um, but the reason I'm doing this video today it's, well, kind of a couple of things. Last video I mentioned I was going to write about carpal tunnel, which I did. So that's available now on my ultimate guide. I will share a little bit here towards the end of this video some of the um, suggestions that I made. And as well as one of the things I think I really want to start doing is pairing, kind of like wine pairing, you know, where you pair a wine with a type of meal. I want to pair oils and herbs in the sense where they kind of support one another. This is the alchemy that I talk about. Somebody said to me that they, well, you're not an alchemist because you don't work with metals and minerals. That's bogus. I work with minerals all the time in food and herbs and so forth. Um, I mean, I understood what they were saying, but the fact is, is that's not even close to being true. Alchemy is, is the, it's a transmutation of energy. It's, it's the combination of energies. And so what I do is I work with oils that are signaling molecules and I um, pair them, if you will, with uh, uh, valuable nutrients that combined with the uh, what's going on with the individual body really help to take it from 
so so to oh yes kind of an experience so that's alchemy and so that's where i want to talk a little bit about too when i go into carpal tunnel and arthritis uh, pairing of um, a particular herb and a couple of essential oils but one of the things I, I also wanted to point out too that this is a different top than I had on my last video, um, although it's the same style. So I've actually put a link to that in um, the description box that you might be able to um, check it out. Um, I will also link the herbs in the description box. And um, But again, the reason why I'm here is I had shared um, my post about the, the blog post uh, about carpal tunnel on LinkedIn and I found myself in a conversation, just a short conversation with somebody because they were like very interested in what I wrote and we're going to try it. I can tell you that the first four oils listed in that blog post um, are a formula that I made for somebody with, um, specific to this woman's needs. But to me, they, unless you're taking medications, could potentially work for you as well, especially if arthritis and carpal tunnel are occurring at the same time. Um, but the response that I gave to him was that I find making generalized recommendations very difficult. Um, actually, anxiety, um, they, they, they trigger anxiety in me, and here's why. Because it, it doesn't make any difference if it's in a blog post or if it's here. Um, I feel like I'm blinking a lot. That's because I got air blowing in my eyes. Um, the truth is that everybody is different. Every body is different. Okay, um, your you, the way you are wired is unique to you. And to be able to, to to be making blanket suggestions, this is part of the reason I have such an issue with when we come out with um, mainstream marketing where this product is good for this. Thing, you know this issue and this product is good for this kind of thing that is to me harmful and I know I've talked about this before but I really wanted to get into it a little bit more now and talk about why it makes me nervous I've tried it I do it and I also want to be clear that even with the videos and I've made and especially when I first started doing videos I was really making some generalized suggestions and then I started getting emails from people that wanted to know what I would recommend for them. And um, I don't mean to be rude, but I cannot be making specific recommendations for anyone without having some basic information about you. And that involves a consultation. The consultation doesn't necessarily require a phone or a video call. It can happen through an email. You can give me as much information as you are willing to give me. The more you give me, the better off I am able to guide you um, and make suggestions and potentially even make formulas for you. But I just cannot be coming out and making generalized suggestions and then you or anybody else expecting that it's going to work 100%. And that's what this individual said. He's like, well, I know we have several issues of carpal tunnel here in the office and um, due to repetitive movement, my suspicion is there's other things going on in there. But nonetheless, he says, well, I'll try what you say and see if it works. And I had to qualify and just let them know up front that it is not an easy thing for me to develop content because number one, I don't want to disappoint. Number two, I want people to get results. And number three, it's potentially harmful to be making just a blanket statement about specific oils being good for certain things or for that matter, any. Why? Because there's medications involved. That's the reason why I said, if you read that blog post on carpal tunnel, you will actually notice that there's I, I think I listed eight different oils. Four of the top four I used, um, the first four that I suggest are the blend that I made for an individual that has carpal tunnel and arthritis, and it was very effective for her, but she did not use medications. I also mentioned in that blog, if you're taking medications, you really need to check with a professional. This is important. Just because mainstream media, mainstream marketing is saying that these oils are good and they're safe because they're natural it is BS. They're not safe just because they're natural. Natural does not necessarily mean safe. Natural simply means that they originated from nature or they're supposed to have originated from nature. But the amount of chemicals that we have created as a species is leading to instability in most of the system. 
externally as well as internally. And these chemicals are in fact interacting with a lot of the things that we're doing. I mean, or a lot of the things that we're using, even just our basic personal care. And I mean, these chemicals are interact interacting in the body. That's the reason why I'm saying that I like to recommend essential oils because they are signaling molecules. There's scores. I'm not going to say countless because we have an actual idea, approximately 45 million. Over 70,000 of them are endocrine disruptors, confirmed endocrine disruptors. They're still investigating others, but these are considered signaling molecules. And these signaling molecules influence genetic activity. If you have a bunch of them coming into the body, I mentioned this the other day on my radio show, that you know it doesn't mean that every signaling molecule fits into every G-coupled protein receptor. It doesn't mean that because the G-coupled protein receptor has, has um, different locking mechanisms, if you will. And so the shape of a molecule will have to fit into that receptor before it will either activate or deactivate it. That said, if it doesn't affect a particular genetic receptor, but it's still in the body, now it becomes toxic to the body, which is now stressful, which is going to trigger an immune reaction, and you're going to lead to even further instability. So it's a, it's a chemical mess. We are a, um, a waste field for so many different chemicals. And the reason for using oils in a way that is mindful and attentive to your specific needs helps to override and protect you from these other chemicals. Sometimes I get asked, well, how is that possible? Because nature will react to, to nature. It responds to nature first before it will respond to the, because there is a synergy to these chemicals and they're activating other things in the system. So there's a systemic reaction that is beneficial and more protective than it is if you're just using man-made chemicals. So yes, it's nerve wracking for me. I'm not, I'm not comfortable with it, but I do it because I know many people would like to have some kind of an idea that not everybody is, you know, ready to jump into a consult and they want to try some things first. So allow me to say this, the, the suggestions that I make, um, I will do the best I can to keep them as safe as possible. I will let you know if one's if, if consideration needs to be made with regards to um, medications. And if you have questions, you're always welcome to call me or email me. Um, you know, there is a consultation fee, and if it's not something that's doable for you, please know that you're welcome to pay what you can. You know. I just want to say that um, if you sign up for my newsletter, actually, you'll get a 15% off your first purchase. Just that's also, and then you can send up my newsletter if you go to my website. Um, actually, I can put the link in. I'll put the link in the description box below too if you'd like to sign up there. Um, let me think of what else. But the fact is, like I said, I will make generalized suggestions. I will qualify them so that you get the best, safest guidance. Um, in a public setting and um, if it's something that you're concerned about or you have questions about by all means let me know okay so the oils that I suggested and that I did actually use on a on a carpal tunnel arthritis case a um, couple of things about carpal tunnel while we realize that it is a structural you know it's compression on the nerve and it could be related to anything you know it's basically related to stress and inflammation maybe it's trauma that's going to be stress maybe it's an autoimmune disorder like arthritis that's going to be stress um if it's repetitive movement that's going to be stress so the the stressful the body does not differentiate what stress is as soon as the body is stressed it changes the chemistry shifts in order to go into survival mode that means there's a signal that occurs in the hypothalamus that affects the pituitary gland and ultimately um, supporting the area that is in need. Um, when it comes to carpal tunnel, it's no different. So the oils that I recommended, and you can read more about that, that link is in the um, box below, is um, laurel leaf, also known as bay laurel, um, black spruce, ginger root, and chili pepper. Um, I'm not going to get into the other ones. If you want to know what the other ones are, you have to take a look at that blog. That's just... <laughs> and um, as far as pairing an herb and an oil is concerned, 
the, the herb that I'm really fascinated with right now is Eleuthero. And Eleuthero, Eleuthero is very, it's an adaptogen that really supports the um, environmental stress uh, that we're, at, we're at under, whether it be uh, an, an emotional distress. So if you, um, if you find yourself sensitive to temperature or sound or, you know, any kind of noise, it will actually help soothe that. It actually helps the body to adjust to make it a little bit easier for you. Um, so that is an overactive autonomic nervous system at that point. A um, couple of oils that you could pair with that. Um, black spruce is actually one really good one. And um, another one would be palma rosa. Would be my two suggestions to pair with the Eleuthero. So um, let me know if you have any questions about that. And um, like I said, I'm going to kind of work with this. I also, oh, I want to say this too. I'm going to mention this in my newsletter, but I'll say it here. Um, I had stopped because of all of this work I was doing um, at the restaurant. I fell behind, way behind on, well, I just quit. I just stopped writing everything pretty much. So I still owe like 18 days for my 31 days of essential oils. And I hope to pick that back up again because I know that you all enjoyed that very much. So anyway, just know that that's coming. And I, uh, my apologies, my sincerest apologies. Anyway, you guys take care. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to hearing from you.